Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Today we are going to do uh, this card. We're going to use this sketch for it. Um, so we've got a double mat on it. We've got interest down the center and then a grading across the front. So what I've done is I have pre-stamped um, a bunch of these little flowers that are directly from the stamp set and then cut them out with one of these stylish shapes uh, circle dies. And um, I've run the background through the cane weave folder and then just used a half inch strip of paper, stamped the happy birthday on it, and then angle cut the edges. So um, I'm using Berry Burst on this and I'm also using the Tinsel Gems four pack. These Tinsel Gem, the two pack and the, or the three pack and the four pack are very rapidly becoming my favorite gems to use. Um, so let's get started. One of the first things I wanted to do was just show how I did the flower um, because it is only uh, one stamp, but I've shown this before, but for those that are new or have just started subscribing, um, you just ink into the one ink and then you take a finger dauber or a sponge dauber and you just come in and you ink up the area that you want to be a different color. There we go. And then you just stamp it down. And then you've got a granny apple green leaves and a berry burst flower. So that is that simple to do. Um, and the berry burst comes out just a shade darker because you're going over a slightly darker color too. Um, but it still comes out looking really, really pretty. I love how soft and delicate this is. So let's get on with building the card. So I've got a basic white card base. I've got a five and a quarter by four piece of berry burst that I have cut the middle out of so that I can use the middle for either another project or um, for doing mats uh, for greetings and things like that. And we're just going to line this up so we're equal distant from the edges. There we go. And then I've already run this through the cane weave folder. So I'm going to go with adhesive all the way around the edges because it's a very detailed folder and I don't want those edges to start to lift. So again, and this is five by three and three quarters. So do I have a five? Yes, I do. So the card front is five by three and three quarters and the mat is five and a quarter by four. And then I'm just going to, you can dimensionalize these if you want, or you can just flat mount them. I'm just going to pop this up here. You can still see it, but I just want to be able to move into frame. So there we go. We are just going to pop these in the middle and we're going to have them all going in the same direction. And the nice thing about the cane weave folders, if you do it straight, you can use your lines to line everything up. And I'm going to pop this in the middle like this. And then dimensionalize the greeting on. And then we're gonna add those uh, tinsel gems. So we're putting this right in the middle like this, just tacking it down lightly. And that's straight. So I have to hold everything up to see if it's straight or not. I can't tell when it's laying down whether I've done it straight. So we're just going to pop some of these on. And I love that they fit right in the center of the lattice work and the cane weave folders here. So I'm just going to pop four of these in. And I'm going to pop one down there. And then one down here like this. So that is our card, super quick, super easy. The longest activity is um, doing the stamping itself, um, but it is a quick, easy, really effective um, way to use the um, stencil or the sketch for this card. So thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon.